how this thing, this particular strategy can help you. You know, for this one, we entered this market with this view of this coming back from this very angle, you know. So we just took this thing with the expectation to take only but few candles. With the expectation to take only but few candles. So in our one minute time frame, we'll have only but few this thing for us to close this market. But look at how sweet, look at how sweet this market can be. Look at how sweet it can be. Now, as this journey is moving on like this, do you think that this spike can give us how much? Initially, it was $4. and But now that we have this, now that we have this, do you think it's going to give us how much? Can you guess? Let's watch and see. Can you see this? Can you see this? Can you see it? This is how this thing works. This is how this thing works. Look at it here. This is how it works. Check this thing here. This is how it works. Do you see that? So when we give our strategies, sometimes people think that we just set it maybe to entice people or to just to talk to people as if it's not real. This thing is real. This thing is real. This thing is working. You know, it is perfectly working. Just from this corner to this point, just from this place now, just we are able to take nothing less than $12. Nothing less than $12 is inside. So, is it possible for one to do this? The answer is yes. Can I also do it? The answer is still yes. You too can do the same. So when I where am I supposed to place my my entry point? Follow this particular move from this corner. Once the line is going up from this place, then start getting ready on your one minute time frame. Start getting prepared. Then when this one also come in, don't be in a hurry. But once this thing push down and cross down to this particular line A to this particular line, that is where you should start placing your trade. But for me, because what I have is just a small account like this, this very one. So I don't want to lose everything. So I have to wait for it to come down and cross over to this place completely, to this place completely. Then I enter here. And as it, as it is now, it has given me what I want, which in the next, just in few seconds from now, I'll be closing this particular trade because if we didn't spike again and it is five o'clock in our own time here, I think I should close it. You see, so I have to close it, except that I am sure that it's going to come back. So when I check my one, one hour time frame, I don't know what this candle is capable of doing this very candle that just opened now i don't know what it's capable of doing so holding it until start pulling down to this point because this is the target but i cannot hold on this so i have to close this and go to a bigger account that can carry this thing because leaving it can make me lose this particular thing you are seeing here already tray is gone because it was 13. already tray is gone so leaving it to retrace with this account size can be a huge challenge. So which it may also drop any moment from now, but for me not to, for me to be on a safer side, because while it touched this place, while it touched at this point, it can still pull back. But since it's a fresh candle, I think I should close this, all right? So let's close this. So any moment from now, the candle can still pull back and it may be a very mighty one. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Have you seen it? So what? how much do you think that this, if this one from here can give this, can you see that? You see how we place trade? You see how we trade? You see it? We don't gaze work. We are sure of what we are doing. The target of this candle is from that place to this place. So what I did 
was that I have to close this very one and go to my bigger account so that it will be more safer. Because if you are using a 65, uh, 63 something and you are taking this risk, it's good. But you must be ready to protect your account. So what I did was that, that this thing pulled down like this, X analytics. But had it been that it did not pull back like this as it's supposed to now, that means I will have emptied the same profit and possibly go on loss. So that is why once I see this, I am not surprised and it didn't touch me because I know it will drop. But one thing I don't know is when is it going to drop? That is one thing I don't know. But I told you that as it's going to touch at this very point, that it should drop. So if you watch these things, you will notice that at the, at the touching of those things, the market keeps dropping. So if you are using this very strategy, you must be very ready to follow instructions and do it exactly the way I did mine. All right. So look at this thing. Look at it. Look at it. So imagine when you trade this all in your account. So this is to say that if you check four hours candle, you notice that a fresh candle just opened now. And from this thing, the previous candle and ended with a kind of weak candle, meaning that sellers are present in the market. So they can push down to this point and form another consolidation that will start moving up like this again. So that is to say, or it can come back like this and now give another weak candle that will drop again. So there are simple things that you should do. You don't just watch and maybe by gazing, you start rushing into the market, you know? And one, one mistake other people can do is that as they have seen that one drop now, they will rush to enter here thinking that this market is going to drop immediately. And that thing I want to show you before I cut this video is this. When you have a signal that said, when you are using a strategy that always gives you a signal from this corner that said, once you touch here, enter. Please be careful. Why is that? When you are using such a market that the higher time frame is in this direction, you should be extra careful when you are using this because the candle that you are asked to tread is a candle that is pointing in this very direction. When you have such a candle as it touched this place, it will definitely give you what you want with that missing works. But once you are trading a candle that is in down trend like this, in this direction, it will cause you havoc and possibly give you a spike that will take you out of the market. That is why you should be careful and not just being careful, but being very, very careful. So this is one of the things I want you to know, because as this thing is coming from this corner now, as this thing is coming from here, it have not showed any sign of this move. This is one thing you should know. If you watch the line, it's still pointing down like this. So meaning that spike can still come. Spike can still come. So if you are thinking of doing Skyping, you must wait for it to give you a sign. And it must first, it must cross the first resistance zone. It must cross it before you confirm your movement. So otherwise, since you are trading with five minutes or one minute time frame, you must wait for a candle to show a positive move from this particular corner. So you must not fall victim of trading uh, a bearish candle when the candle is on a bullish move. This is one of the things I want you to understand that even in the midst of how did I manage to trade this candle, I did it because I have the knowledge and I want you to do the same thing and start making money. So I just give you a piece of advice that if you follow it, you can definitely make money. Remember, I didn't show you now, presently now to do skyping i focus on how you can cash spike with this there is a reason everything that touched at this corner always pull back look at it look at this there is a reason all those things that touched here always pull back what it means is that with this particular strategy you have on the screen you have the ability and look at this place you have the ability to see a reversal trend, especially on your lower time frame. 
especially on your lower time frame. And you know that you cannot have such a thing in the lower time frame and the higher time frame is pointing like this strongly. No, once you see this, it simply means that a little move, bigger drop. This is one thing you should know. This is one thing you should know and you should never joke with it. So whenever you want to place here, please be careful. So as the market is reversing here, allow it to cross the first thing so that you will start making money using this. And once you see it cross like this, like this, please, you are expecting a dropping of candles. Then you use 15 minutes to confirm the candle that is about to trend. Like presently now, imagine when someone plays thread using that same particular pattern, immediately it cross. Then look at where you will fail because from this particular analysis, this is a trend line. From this particular analysis, from the 15 minutes time frame, this candle, this particular line have not been broken. Here, have not been broken. If you check here, you will see, you will see this and you will see this. The only attempt, this one also touched here. So what some, some of us should know and have in mind is that this candle can still pull back a little, but look at where you should place thread because this thing may be a test of momentum. The next candle can still come out here and continue to move in that direction. That is one thing you should know. That is one thing you should know. So, or it may pull back and rest on this place. You know, if you check this thing, if you check this thing carefully, you will see that I have a horizontal line here. So for some of you are asking, uh, why did you do this? I have a horizontal line where this thing is the support. So anything that is coming back from here must first rest here. Otherwise, it's going to continue on the trend of the market. So, you know, there are things we don't talk about. We have to say it here so that everybody will be, so that everybody will be clarified. So use this particular method and you would definitely make money in the forest trading. And I keep saying this thing. It's not all about strategy. Knowledge is required. Let me give you the indicators. Let me give you the indicators. This is moving average 10. Linear weight. Weighted close. Just screenshot this like this. If you are using this thing, then you have to change the background. This one is 5. Orange band 5. Deviation is 0 0.500. Um, previous indicator data then just screenshot it like this and let me say something about this some of you may have seen this thing from different platform and all those things one thing you should know and one thing you should have in store in mind is this what works for others can also work for you and there are some people who may not have seen this in in other people's channel they can also see it from this angle. Our primary assignment is to help souls. So for some of us that may come back and say, uh, this thing, I've seen it in social so China, I've seen it. Then if you have seen it, and maybe this one, you just learn, you just grab something from it and add it to the one you have already. But if you have not seen it, please focus on how you can learn from it instead of fighting a battle or doing things in a way that it cannot yield any increase, you know. Just focus on how you can build yourself. Focus on how you can help and change your generation. I think that is one of the most important things rather than maybe fighting or thinking of one thing or another. So follow this thing immediately and you will definitely see a positive result. Now this is what it's going to look like. So the KD period and the K period and D period, three, this one is five train slowing is train price field is so just add those things like this and you are good to go remember that this what i just opened now is indicator window one this one okay so then add moving average 10 just the other just the same thing you added and you add up your macd remember that you have have you seen it that it have pulled back again if not, I'm making this video, I should open both laptops and all those things to start trading, you know? So, I must not lie to you.
this market is expected to drop in this place first before it will take decision to anywhere else and this one will rest in this place before it will start taking decision to anywhere else so when you have this particular strategy and you want to trade for spike this is a very nice strategy the only thing you must do for yourself is to wait confirm first before you trade please use do this thing first on your demo don't always be in a hurry do this first on your demo to see how this thing can work for you if this thing works well for you go ahead and trade it but if it is confusing please avoid it and use the ones that have been working for you do you get that then if you are watching this video and maybe this is your first time this is gdfx we'll talk about forest we we'll focus on helping people to make money on forest trading we'll talk about a lot of things mostly on boom and crash volatility stepping desk and jumping desk because that is what we use and that is the source we are using to make money so if you want to learn more on boom and crash and you don't know much maybe you have been trading currency or be trading crypto but you don't have pure knowledge about boom and crash please contact us in case you want us to be your mentor we will definitely help you remember that it is not free but we will not kill you with price you know because when we want to help there is no need for us to maybe to be too much to be maybe too serious in finance because god is helping us we are cashing out all right so what we do is to collect commitment fee if i can use that word so that you will know that it costs you something all right, GDFS, subscribe to our channel and use this particular strategy. It's going to be of a great help to you and to your family. Thank you so much.